I left that house like a boss. Like it was my job except better because I don't think I've ever actually been as good at a job as I was at leaving the house that day. I left that house like I'd been professionally trained to kick past my anxiety and change my outfit only four and a half times. Like agoraphobia had never been a question in my mind. The bar was loud. My senses were getting blended, but when she walked up to me, stranger in all this noise, I was ready to make friends. Leaning closer when I couldn't quite hear her, thinking how friendly, hospitable, and social of me caught what a name. So I said, hi, I'm Robbie. But then the eager in her eyes caught up to the hunger in her words, reaching out through the slowly closing space between us. She said, no, what was your name? Like the name I'd given her wasn't worth the muscles in her mouth. What was your name? Like she was asking for her half of the cab fare. Like she couldn't believe I hadn't already given it to her. Like, why don't I just give that to people? It's not such a big deal. The name I pried from the jaws of my father. The name I mined from the mouths of friends and family. The name I spent hundreds of dollars to change on forms. To strip it. From my birth certificate, I spent hundreds of hours on a therapist who could convince the government to pry open their gates and license me to my own body. What was your name? And damn it if I didn't just keep smiling. Because growing up in this shape called girl, you learn to smile when you feel uncomfortable. Smile. Because being polite is always more important than feeling safe, right? smile because I can't afford to run away from this question, whether it's from the bro at the bar or the woman at my job. Smile because I can't stop being this friendly, forgiving, patient, always willing to educate you transgender person. Because how audacious of me to think I could hold this name for myself instead of placing it in your teeth like a still beating organ because the naming of me is a tender, careful gift I have to trust you won't misuse when allyship stops being such a sweat-free, entertaining, feel-good lesson. <laughs> what do you need it for anyways? You gonna do some kind of magic that requires my old legal name like making my student loans disappear? <laughs> or... Is it because you think I'm some sort of spy? Like my dead name is how you reveal the woman behind the curtain. Well, guess what? My gender is the prank my body has played on me since birth. I'm not gonna give you the punchline. <laughs>